First, unexpected relief from insurance companies as we enter the busy season. Tonight, many insurance companies are pledging to keep rates unchanged, some even dropping prices for homeowners. 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Hurst takes a look closer look at why it's happening and why you may want to check your own renewal notice before celebrating. State regulators and insurance experts all say it's because of the legislation passed a couple of years ago to curb frivolous lawsuits. Insurance carriers are now saving hundreds of millions of dollars a year in legal bills and are including those savings in their rate requests. This is tremendous news for Florida homeowners. After years of dramatic insurance rate increases, the Florida market is finally stabilizing. When you're looking at what's being talked about as what's going to be a record-breaking hurricane season and carriers still, in spite of that, want to come in and do business in Florida, that, that's a real kudos to the state and what the state did. So far this year, 10 carriers have filed a 0% increase with the state and nine now have filed for decreases. These are average rate decreases. It doesn't mean everybody sees the same. Some might see less, some might see more in terms of a rate decrease. That's because while insurers are saving money on lawsuits, it's only one variable that's used to come up with an individual homeowner policy. The expectation has been I'm getting my renewal rate and it's going to be a 30 to 60 percent rate increase, if not a 100 percent rate increase. What we're seeing now is more in that zero to 10, zero to 15 type rate difference. Other positive news for insurance in Florida overall is that eight new insurance companies have come into the market, creating more competition. And major insurers that left the state are in serious talks about returning. In the studio, Chris Hurst, 10 Tampa Bay. If you've been around here for a while, you probably heard this before, but one piece of advice insurance agents offer ahead of hurricane season is to take a video of each room of your home, document all your possessions now, so you don't forget anything if you have to make a claim after the storm.